So here we have a Mealy washer and a Mealy dryer. So the issue that we have having today is that the dryer is uh, flashing the filter and vent light. Now, what I did find was that you got a condenser located in there and usually that will get gunked up with um, lint. So you just run it under hot water. You don't really have to wait for it to dry. Just something you, you know, you just take it out. You flip down this door. This door comes out. So you open it up. You take this out. I didn't lock it in when I put it in, but you raise it up to unlock it and slide it out. You can't mess this up with this filter because it only goes in one direction. Now, this filter or this condenser should be clean and you should be able to look right through it. And the same goes for the sides. However, the sides might be a little bit more difficult to look through, but if you see buildup on the front of the side right here, or even on this side, the opposite side, you have to clean this on all four sides. So this is kind of like the buildup that I'm talking about, that little, but usually it'll cover the whole condenser across, and then the customer will complain that they, you know, the machine or the dryer is, is stopping prematurely and not drying the clothes, but that's because there's poor ventilation. Um, again, just go in reverse, put it back in after you've cleaned it, close this up, and just snap this front cover back in place. Now, another thing that you wanna look out for on these machines, particularly on these mealies, is um, I'm just drying up the floor. Give me one second, I'll adjust the camera. What you wanna look for on these uh, mealy dryers is that you wanna instruct the customer about this, this lint trap. Now this one is full of lint, as you can see, but um, I think if we just wipe away at it, it'll get cleaned up. So if you see it, it, it does get cleaned up, right? Just take this, just take this off. Now, something that happens with these, these filters is that if you can see that yellow marking that the filter gets right across the top, usually it'll cover the whole entire face. And that's when you either wanna replace it or wire brush clean it. I replaced them because uh, that just means that they've been there for a while. So I just replace them. That one I might end up replacing. And also these little guys, this one here and this one here. These are other filters that you would also clean the same way. These, now these are already cleaned, but um, if I hold them up to the light, you can see where, you know, there is um, still buildup. Now, the problem with that is that air won't be able to flow through that because it's, it's pretty much, it's like a sheet and it won't be able to flow through that. So again, you would either you would either wire brush it, clean it, or replace it. Like I said, I replaced them because my objective is to never come back to the same machine twice. Now, these also have the option, it's a condenser unit, so it also has the option of filling this container up with water. So you gotta watch out for that. Or you can just order up a drain hose and just connect it on the back. And um, all the water from drying will just go down the drain pipe. So for this particular machine, I will be ordering those three filters that we saw. And um, since it's been a while for this machine, I'm also gonna order a drain pump and just replace it and, and this machine will keep running. Typically these machines will run for about, you know, the longest, the longest that I've ever had these machines in operation has been like maybe 20 years. These are very high-end machines, very high-end. 
and these aren't and this is not even their uh, their newer models but these machines will they will last they're built to last I think they're German but they're built they're built to last they're not easy to get into as far as replacing a motor or the belt it's not it's not as easy as a Frigidaire or a Whirlpool but um, it, is, it, is, it is built to last so like I said before for this dryer I'm just gonna be ordering a um, she doesn't have anything wrong with the washer so we're not gonna go there but, but as you can see these these washers are very uh, they are, they're also really good looking you know pretty sure she's had this machine for a while as you can see the gasket is pretty it's pretty clean is that a tooth yes. some kind of flower but um you can see there's no mold on the gasket you know I, I will be letting the customer know to just keep this door you know pop propped open just so that if they haven't had any um if they haven't had any mold buildup, then they don't want to look forward to, you know, adding mold to the uh, washer. So that's going to be it for this video, but um, I pretty much service all brands, all types of 